team at the moment is the King. You look at the King, it's absolutely hapless. His starting quarterback is Eli Manning. I, mean, I look at his receivers, Anquan Bolden, Santonio Holmes, and Denarius Moore. I, I'm seeing unproven and quarterbacks who won't throw him the ball. And listen to his running backs. LeGarrette Blount, who doesn't catch a ball in a PPR league. LaDainian Tomlinson, who's so old, I, I don't even need a walker. And, but he does have Jimmy Graham, so there is hope in his tight end position. John, well, I, uh, we are really about the same in our, in our power rankings at the bottom five here. I think we both agree, and I won't go through the players and everything that he's gone through, but I think we both agree that the King, at this point, uh, is the worst team in Fantasy League Fantastico. Um, I actually have the Boone Humper as number two. I think looking at what they've done thus far, they've scored the least amount of points. Uh, they, they're seeing the, the, the draft that they had, which is what I said was the worst draft in the history of Fantasy League Fantastico. They're starting to really feel that, uh, the ramifications of that. So I have them slotted as the second worst. But I believe team that the in the power NFL rankings app. are to be done. As it again, is ridiculous. Now, not as what it was. Ridiculous. So this is has, not very good. Has fallen on real hard times. Uh, they they have no coverage at uh, running back as far as handcuffing that number one pick, which I think is a must. Uh, and they're they you know they're just the the West right now having two of the three worst or five worst teams in the league is making that division look a little soft. So we're, we're the West has we'll hopefully been soft. these teams move out of the bottom five if they can make some key moves. But again, like you touched on, the King, the moves they're making now are a little late in the game. I think they sh though their waiver priority wasn't high, they could have done a couple of other things. Yeah. We'll see. There's uh, other lunches horses for out wimps. there. Again, just... I just don't see a lot of passion there. There are new uh, ownership there, the former Wayne Lunch Carters. Lunch is for Wimps has had Devin Hester rolling, and they have him in their lineup going into tomorrow's game. At yeah. some point, like he's a you got to put that you Devin pull. Hester, yeah. Right, like you got to start looking at other options yeah. there. And then, again, Morning Wood, I think, it's tough. I think you get in that gray area. They're a good team. they got a solid core of running backs. Receiver help is required. Yeah, I think they've got to sign out front. Receivers, please. Well, I mean, but Jeremy Macklin's They're, they're a decent there. team. Macklin's coming on. They've got great point totals. They're so a team far. we have to, I mean, we just had to put them in there based on an 0-2 start. Yeah, so yeah. I think I could see them in a, in a top five slot maybe down the road. Oh, certainly. So certainly. let's move on to our top five of power rankings. In My NFL. pleasure. Why uh, don't I start this time? Go ahead. Let's go ahead. By all means. Uh, and I think I've got a couple of real surprises here. Now this is based on what the teams have done, but also where they are today. I mean, there's been some injuries, some things. I mean, the Kings started out 1-0, looked pretty good. Injuries, now they're, now they're at the bottom. So what we have here on our power rankings, uh, my number five team, the Rollers, formerly the High Rollers. I think the Rollers have, again, drafted good. They're a solid team. I think they had a tight win in week two. They're 2-0. Two and oh. It's a good team. I think I was wavering with them and the Mofos in that five slot. I think they're about an equal uh, talent level. So we're going to give the edge to the Rollers. They're at five. Number four, we go and go with the Peaceful Warriors. Though we awarded them the best draft, had some injury issues here. The Cowboys are hurting. That's affecting their roster. Amendola going out early. Just Chad Ochocinco bit. has really not found a niche in that offense. Where does Ochocinco so come the from? The depth that we saw at draft day, you know, right now has is, is been a little bit uh, in question. So, again, we're going to slot them at four, though they're a nice two and a Go on, rest. go on. Come uh, on, bud. Mason Keith Colby we have at number three, I think. They're one and one. They lost a tight one in week one. They they scored the most points in week Huge two. Huge amount of points for this team. They've got everybody healthy other than their tight end, who they picked up on waivers. So I think they're going to shift that around all year. Uh, they're a good team right now. And they've got a lot of talent, and they're going to be calling you to make trades. So be ready. <laughs> they like to wheel. He and does deal. like to wheel and deal. Uh, met number the two, I think, would surprise a lot of people, and I I have the goods there. I think the goods right now. Things have broken right for them. Their draft, I thought, was decent at the day uh, the day of. 
I look at it now and with, with Tolbert, with A.J. Green coming on, that's really turned that team into something to watch. They I actually have as my team to watch. You can see by the star there. I see the goods as going on a run now and really grabbing control of the East uh, in, a, in a tough division, might I add. And my number one team is Dr. Dick. I mean, i got to hand it to him. He drafted a lot of veterans. He went with the Hall of Fame crew. And I questioned it a bit. Out of the gates, it looks good. He's the number one uh, ranked player in the, in the Fantasy League, uh, according to our system. And I have to put him there in the number one slot based on performance and uh, in week three performance that I see. So those are my five. Well, that's interesting. I have a... A much different uh, top five for you all. Uh, as you can see here, I don't even have the goods in my top five at all. And there are reasons for that, but first let me go through who I have. Well, we're starting off with the Peaceful Warriors. Peaceful Warriors, uh, the only reason why they're in the top five is that they're 2-0 and and they, it looks like they're going to have an easy win over um, the King. That They have Tony Romo, who's hurt. Chris Johnson and Reggie Bush. Reggie Bush was an early draft pick for this guy, and it was his sixth Warriors. round draft. Pick. Yeah, listen, wait, come on. He's not going to cut the mustard. He's going to be a, a, a third down yeah. back who doesn't get much. But Roddy White's good pickup. Brandon Marshall though didn't do a lot last year. Started off pretty good this year, but we'll see. And Devery Henderson, who is a feast or famine. Up next, we have the Fire Spitting Jimmies. I like what the Fire Spitting Jimmies have done. They've saw it at quarterback with Phillip Rivers. The wide receivers, they got Hakeem Nix, Nate Burleson, and Des Bryant. If Des Bryant can stay healthy, this could be the best one through three receivers in the league. The running backs are solid with Ray Rice and Tim Hightower. Yeah, yeah you know, Mike Shanahan, he plays a lot around with his running backs, but I think Tim Hightower will be in the mix all year long. I'm with you there. I, I had the Jimmies right on that periphery too. Yeah. I just couldn't find a slot in the top five. I do think they're a strong team, but injury Injuries really are played it with Antonio Gates. Antonio now Gates, but he did, he did use the waiver wire and he picked up Dustin Keller who has... No, he drafted years. Keller. Oh, he, he drafted, did drafted Keller. Keller oh, okay. well, he, I think he realized that, that the big a, lumbering tight end might have some issues. Yeah, well that was good. Up next we have Mason Keith Colby. Uh, Mason Keith Colby, they have the points, and though they're one and one, this team could be the number one team. But my question, my problem, is that with uh, so much reliance on the New England Patriots and the Brady Welker connection, you cut those points in half, then this is just your standard fantasy team. They they blew up, and we'll see. But they do have Vincent Jackson. But if you go down the line on this team. Uh, Daniel Thomas from Miami, we'll see, and Beanie Wells, we'll see. I, there's a lot of question marks with that team, but I think we agree though that we have both have them in the three slot. I think it's a Brady it's a Walker team alone watch. is is going to get them far. Now I have Doctor Dick as my number two. Doctor Dick, good solid running foundation with Matt Forte, Ryan Matthews, the law firm Ben Jarvis That's Green right, Ellis hasn't done much yet, but. You know, we'll see if he can, you know, be used a little more. Actually, I think the better pick might have been Danny Woodhead. <laughs> uh, but their running backs, or the wide receivers, uh, Deshaun Jackson, Brandon Lloyd. Brandon Lloyd stays healthy. It's going to be good. I like their tight end and Tony Gonzalez, and they have Aaron Rodgers, who should be putting up points all year long. Congratulations, Dr. Dick. Up next, and last but not least, the Rollers. I really like the Rollers. Wow. I like the management structure there. I've talked to the Rollers a few times, and this guy is all about football. Um, with uh, Ben Roethlisberger, he, you, you're not going to get the huge points you might get with a Brady. You're going to get consistent 20 to 30 points, though. But listen to these running backs. Javid Best, LaShawn McCoy, and Danny Woodhead. Danny Woodhead will give you 15 points. He'll get you five catches, 50 yards, mm -hmm. and a bunch of rushes and a few touchdowns. LaShawn McCoy is just a horse. And Javid Best, he started off the year healthy. If he keeps it up that way, this guy's a stud. Listen to this. Calvin Johnson, stud. Percy Harvin, you know, he's going to get there. And Lance Moore, a good, solid number three. I like the Rollers oh, right now. I, I think you're a little too high. Again, I had the Rollers at five on that periphery with the Jimmies and the Mofos. I think they're all about the same team. Uh, I'd almost give the Jimmies the upside if they got healthy. 
I think the rollers if, are, are limited. 